So you're ready to buy a house and are thinking of going to your local bank to get a loan to buy this house. But is that a good idea? Well, in this video, we go over the pros and cons of going to a bank to get a loan to buy a house. Before we get into the pros and cons, I just want to go over briefly what exactly I mean by bank. So when I say bank, I'm specifically referring to financial institutions that are chartered by the government to accept deposits from customers and use those deposits to make loans to other customers. Banks are typically for-profit organizations. That so if you didn't get any of that, just know that when I say bank, I don't mean credit unions, online lenders, or any other financial institutions like that. So starting from the top, we have convenience. So as you know, banks have a physical location that you can go to visit and talk to a representative in person. This could be helpful if you have questions or concerns about your mortgage, or if you need help navigating the application process. On top of that, you can manage your mortgage account online, which would make it easier to make payments, check on your account balance, and keep track of your loan. For example, Chase and Capital One. I personally haven't had mortgages with them, but I definitely gotta say, user experience and user interface wise, they're great to use. So now on to benefit number two, competitive fees. So another advantage to using a bank is they actually may have lower fees and lower closing costs compared to other types of lenders, which can save you a bunch of money up front when buying a home. Banks also generally offer lower interest rates compared to other lenders, such as credit unions or online lenders. And both of these can, in turn, save you a bunch of money on your loan. Now, moving on to benefit number three, which is stability. Banks typically hold on to their mortgages and service them themselves which means that you'll always know who your lender is and where to send your payments to. On the other hand, with other types of lenders such as mortgage brokers or online lenders, your loan may be sold to another lender shortly after closing. This can result in a change of loan terms, payment options, or even payment due dates. I know this can be very confusing and inconvenient to the one who's paying the loan. But overall, if you're looking for stability and predictability in your mortgage payments, going with a fixed rate mortgage from a bank could be a good option for you. So those are gonna be three benefits to going with a bank. But what are the drawbacks to going with a bank? Well, let's start off with number one, which is strict qualifications. Banks have strict lending standards, which can make it a little bit harder for some people to get a loan with them. Banks typically require a higher credit score and stable income when approving loans. So if you have a lower credit score or a fluctuating income, then you may have a harder time getting approved. Now moving on to drawback number two, limited options. Another potential drawback to working with a bank is having a limited amount of mortgage products for you to choose from. This means that you wouldn't have as many options as you would working with a online lender or a mortgage broker, which has a range of different lenders and different products and programs that you could work with. Now moving on to drawback number three, which is slower processing times. So when working with a bank to get a loan, the application process may take a little bit longer compared to other lenders. Banks may require a little bit more documentation up front, which can lead to a longer loan process. So when your application goes through and is submitted, the bank may take a little bit longer to review and either approve or deny your loan. This is because banks typically have a little bit more layers of approval and may need to do a little bit more due diligence before approving your loan. This can mean waiting weeks or even months before a decision. Contrast to other types of lenders such as credit unions and online lenders can use processes that are quicker and more streamlined when it comes to approving mortgages. Some of these lenders use automated systems and algorithms to quickly review and approve applications, which can lead to a faster turnaround time. But yeah, those are gonna be the pros and cons of going with a bank when getting a mortgage. For me personally, when it comes to banks, I really like just the, the fact that you can go to a physical location and talk to and interact with a physical person. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, that's just me. But to turn it back on you guys, would you go to a bank to get a mortgage? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comments. I also made a video comparing getting a mortgage from a mortgage broker versus a bank. Check that video out right here.